Well, good morning, Lake Center. Happy to talk with you today and share with you some important things. If you'll be patient with me, I'd like to read you a short devotion I was going to send out via email, but I thought I'd like to read that to you. I think more and more Christian parents are awakening to the truth that we're in a spiritual battle for the souls of our children. Right now, it seems that that spiritual battle has also become a cultural one. One of my colleagues recently reminded me that it's so important that we as parents are involved. He has a blog that's called Kingdom Education, and that link will be provided in the email. But we just need to recognize that even though many of us and our friends were reared in a society where public education was lifted up and revered and seemingly the answer to everyone's problem, unfortunately, that's not the case today. Let's remember that our children are given to us as a gift from God. Remember how Hannah prayed for Samuel and how Samson's mother prayed for a son. God is sovereign and answered the prayers for those children. So we as parents need to realize the responsibility that's given us to rear our children in the truth. Thank you for partnering with us to make sure that that happens. We want our children to know the truth. And we know that there are many cultural pressures out there on them. And so we just trust that you'll continue to pray for us and encourage your teachers and we'll just ask God to do great things here at Lake Center to combat the spiritual and cultural pressures that each of our children are feeling to follow the world. Well, God's doing some good things. I'm dressed a little more casually today because we're celebrating a successful reaccreditation visit. The team that was here recommended that we receive another full five years of accreditation and we'll receive an official report back sometime in December. Also, I want to encourage you as parents to be involved. We have a new position within our school, Campus Volunteer and Communications Coordinator. Mrs. Chesnick is available and is a resource to help you there, and so please contact Advancement if you have questions. Also, our principals are starting a new parent orientation program that eventually is going to be Become a real part of all that our parents will be involved with. And so this first year, it's voluntary. I hope you'll be involved. Also, there's a book club starting October 13th. Please look over the information about that as well. And finally, there's this prayer time coming up October the 12th. Please follow the link to find out more about that as well. Things are going well here at the school. You've gotten information. We know we have some more students on quarantine because of COVID. But again, the spread of COVID among our faculty, staff, and students is still minimal. And so even though we do have students on quarantine, many of those come back after they're tested with negative results. So just continue to pray for us. Thanks for your support of our sports team got a great fall. Our volleyball team is ranked, our girls volleyball team, oh, we don't have a boys team. The volleyball team is ranked 17th in the state. So congratulations, girls. Keep up the good work. Our girls varsity soccer has a successful uh, record so far this year. It's one of the best records they've had since we had that program. So there's a lot going on. Trust you'll keep us in your prayers and have a great day.